Now a new and rapidly emerging medium is taking center stage, explorable generative worlds. Images, videos, and 3D models have long been central to generative AI in design, but these new environments go beyond static visuals, allowing users to immerse themselves in dynamic spaces that can be shaped, edited, and experienced from within. From your initial images and concepts, you can go deeper to start building a world around it, and it doesn't end there. You can then reshape, edit, and transform this world to expand your creation. Whether it is generated from text, images, or even real photos, you can truly bring these to life and explore every corner. Incredibly powerful for a 3D designer, as it works particularly well with interiors. These worlds can be exported as Gaussian splats for integration to Unreal Engine, Unity, or VR headsets. I'll guide you through Marble World Labs on how you can do this for yourself. To be inspired and to understand the power behind this technology, just select any of the images in the library on the marble.worldlabs.ai homepage and you can experience it firsthand for yourself through the browser. I'll go through later more in depth with tips and what images generate good and bad scenes. Technical breakthroughs are the rich geometric complexity and style consistency. As you wander through the departments, all visible angles are rendered smoothly and consistently. The style and materiality is continued on for all these parts. This model excels when used with realistic architectural images that are free from people and clutter, making it ideal for architectural applications. There's a remarkable level of detailed depth, lighting and mood that it achieves, which is particularly impressive for conceptual scenes, providing a vivid sense of what it might feel like to inhabit a large environment. These worlds are generated as Gaussian splats, which means that if you move too close or too far away from the center, the quality may degrade. However, generative AI models are rapidly evolving with the capability coming to infinitely expand new areas as you explore. Marble World Labs provides clear official guidelines, or at least to successful results. The system reconstructs spatial geometry from the input image, so it's important to avoid certain elements that disrupt the creation process. Defined spaces, clean edges, and strong contrast help the model determine boundaries and depth, making architecture interiors especially well suited for world building. The realistic interiors with strong geometry and material contrasts are particularly effective, and the model handles light exceptionally well, even in low light or night scenes. If there are examples of scenes to avoid, images with unclear context, excessive focus, or too much abstraction or blur generally yield poor results. It's best to avoid clutter and strong focal points. While open worlds are not recommended, experimenting with them can still produce interesting outcomes. That might suit specific creative purposes. For instance, this foggy Asian street food scene, rendered in a conceptual art style, is surprisingly captivating and has potential for testing out ideas for game art. To start creating your own worlds, note that Marble Labs is currently in beta, but soon will transition to the typical free trial and paid plans common to many AI platforms. So be sure to check out the plans tab for the latest updates. Click the Create button on the left menu to begin. You'll find three main options for generating your world. Using preset images, entering text prompts, or uploading your own images, whether real or AI generated. Within the settings, you can adjust parameters such as the random seed, number of output images if using the text to world generation, privacy settings, and advanced options for aspect ratio and cropping. Let's walk through the image to world workflow. I'll start by uploading a reference image. Here an interior shopping mall with no people or clutter in the centre, with clear form in the levels, shop fronts and a roof. For even better results, I could further refine this to make the glazing and framing more clear, but let's proceed as it is. You can adjust the output size at the bottom. I'll leave that as default. And once you continue, the app will generate a detailed description to guide the world generation process. This is an opportunity to refine the outcome by fine-tuning and editing the text before finalizing your world. You can choose between two models, the mini model, which uses fewer credits and is faster, but produces less detail, and the Marble Plus, which offers higher quality results. Generating a world with Marble Plus typically takes four to five minutes, and once complete, your new world will appear in your worlds tab for you to explore. When you enter your generated world, you'll notice that the highest quality 
is always from the starting point. As you rotate and move around, the system generates variations of the initial image, maintaining a consistent style throughout the environment. For example, while some architectural features, like the sculptural columns, are seamlessly continued, certain elements, such as the voids at lower levels, are not fully recreated on the other side. At the bottom of the interface, you will see several options. You can download the C as a PLY file, which is a Gaussian SPAT format, which can be imported into Unreal Engine, Unity, or VR headsets for advanced interactive visualizations. Additional tools include audio information, screenshot capture, and here are some intuitive controls that mirror those found in most computer games with the keyboard and mouse. Pressing 0 returns you to origin, and you can adjust the field of view using the square brackets. Experimenting with different images is key. Following the prompt guide is highly recommended, as it greatly influences the results. While Marble Labs advises against using open-world images, I found that natural environments with a building as a focal point in the distance can still give effective results, provided you just don't zoom in too closely. This works well for both realistic architectural scenes and stylized ones, and you can generate worlds from any image, including those created in ComfyUI, Midjourney, or using the stylized codes. Generally, the larger and more open the space in your image, the more the AI will generate additional areas for you to explore. Marble Lab demonstrates impressive depth perception, even in abstract or minimalist spaces. For example, in this highly atmospheric black and white scene, the architecture seamlessly continues around the corners and along the arches, maintaining visual coherence throughout. The platform truly excels with interior environments. When working with detailed interiors, Marble Labs can generate all sides of a space in a consistent style, extending features such as the rafters in the ceiling here and the brickwork on the floor with remarkable accuracy. This opens up some exciting possibilities for creating interactive conceptual spaces, such as new house designs. Enclosed external spaces, like narrow streets, also give strong results. Looking down both directions in the street, it continues to follow the architectural style with detailed facades, lamps and wooden struts rendered realistically along the centre. However, as you move further from the original viewpoint, this effect starts to fade away. It's also worth noting that you can generate these scenes from your own photos. Here I have a photo of an empty cathedral and it can be transformed into an interactive environment. It keeps the style of all the arches and ceilings, though some elements like the seating and benches lack detail and fade away. This workflow offers an interesting way to bring personal memories and photos back to life as explorable scenes. Beyond uploading your images, you can also use predefined presets selecting from a curated library of high-quality base images. Simply set the desired ratio and crop, then adjust the prompt guide to refine your scene. This process works especially well for demonstrating Marble Lab's strengths with nice scenes, dramatic lighting and vivid colours. It's particularly striking the results. If you viewed this in a VR headset, it would be quite amazing. You can also generate a world starting from a simple text prompt. For example, entering a modern Scandinavian-style living room will initiate the process. The guide recommends using straightforward sentences, as you can refine and expand your description later. By enabling advanced editing in the settings, you can control how many initial images are generated. Here I have selected four image generations, so this will allow me to select one or four, or I can regenerate if I don't like any of them. After making a selection, the AI produces the detailed description again, and you're free to edit this like usual for even greater control. Once you're happy, simply hit generate. The result is a modern, minimalist apartment. Open and uncluttered, the system prioritizes spatial layouts over individual objects. If you look closely, you may notice the presence of the Gaussian splats in certain corners, which is the current limitation of this world generation approach. However, Ongoing research is focused on enabling infinite world generation, which is paving the way for even more immersive and expansive environments in the future. Marble Labs here demonstrates how a single image or prompt can be transformed into a rich, detailed, immersive environment. And this opens up a lot of fascinating new creative possibilities for architects, designers, or even game developers.
and is pushing the boundaries of 3D technology. While there are plenty of limitations, particularly along the edges of generated scenes and the quality, the pace of this innovation in this field is remarkable. As these tools continue to evolve, the potential for creating ever more complex, interconnected, lifelike digital worlds will only grow. Now is a great time to experiment with this and explore and see what you can try out. In the next video, I'll take a look at bringing this to life in Unreal Engine, so see you there.